Alright people, back again, another video, I won't leave a doc on this one because it's an opinion with some tied into existence, but it's somewhat of a fact because of that, but I have no need to put a document if you want a more explanation proof of it, I can, but remember, chaos in order, right it won't, nothing, something in time and everything, blah blah blah. Good looks in a relationship or not good looks. If know the type of person you are, know the type of relationship wrong and know your standards, you have no need to uh, complain about your life when you put yourself in that position unless you are the, that group of people that that their livelihood was at stake. They could die or they could family die or they could go to sick or not get sick and they did that. Um, when I say that and when I say my other nothing is impossible or possible that if they are in a position where they're like 80%, 90% could do nothing else but that situation then you have my past. If you any less than those then you have no excuse. You have no respect by me. None at all. Um, I don't believe. I, well, I don't like. Actually, I don't believe. I don't like. I totally, totally dislike it. If I hate something, believe me, watch. I would not. I would say it and I would have no part of it. When you hate something, there's nothing to deal with that. Period. You hate this cookie and that person like that cookie, then you should not be liking that person because you hate that cookie and you hate everything about that cookie. You say, hate the person that eat the cookie. Hate. I'll make another video for that, but don't worry. Anyway, if you have the opportunity to choose your relationship, then you should not be complaining about how other people think about your relationship or unless it's something that you yourself know better. That comes in with terms of good looks and not so good looks. Beauty is something that you should say. People say beauty is gen um, genetics. That's only 10% truth, people. 10% truth. If you are desperate and lonely, you will sleep with anybody out there. Or sleep with yourself. Animals or anywhere else. I'm pretty sure y'all seen some videos people did that. Y'all have fun with doing that. Remember, beauty is only 10% truth. People, genetics, people believing in beauty based on genetics is 10% truth. When I say 10% truth, it's, I mean, it's in the fact that, hmm, it's in the fact there's a, a natural desire for comfort and some people, that's why I said 10% because I don't have that much desire for that many people or in general because I have such high standards. Just like it has to be out of 20 billion in teens and only two of those will be a form of attraction that I will actually agree with, that I will actually don't mind. So good luck, meet my standards. Anyway. If you're in a relationship and you're not doing good, then you need to fix that. There's nothing based on who you are that you agree with. You should not be in a relationship that where you are hurting yourself and that partner more than... Actually, at all. You should not be hurting them at all. At all. You can come to a disagreement. You can both get mad. You can both cry. And at the end of the day, you know it's somewhat... A process, but if you get a point where uh, you are actually hurting, then that relationship needs to end, or period. There's not much to deal with. Not it's not difficult to deal with people. It's like uh, what's the word for it? Um, you broke up with this person like 50 times in one year. You broke up with a person out of two years, spent a hundred thousand times. To the point that to me that's not a good relationship, it seems like a a survival thing. It's not even a survival thing. It's, it's like you think this not you think this is your only choice. 
guarantee you people, if you are in that situation, you get with that person in the end, you are dumb. If someone forced you to get it back to it based on their agreement, then they are dumb and you are dumb for trusting into them. I said it. You are dumb. Stupid. Don't make me cussing all the other languages because I will, but I'm not going to because I'm like cussing. Unless it's an actual application of that word. Anyway, if you see a female and you like her and if you see anything in between that gender or out of that gender or whatever and you like that person, you should get to know that person and then blah, 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 blah. Now, if you have attention, female or male or whatever in between or out of it, if your attention is only you to sleep with that person, then you have no problem complaining if that person does you. If you have the problem complaining based on who you are, then you should not complain about it. If you believe you don't want to do that in the whole way, then nobody should do it. But it's just a belief, it's a pain, the fact that it's not happening, it being you are in the wrong. You haven't made it a possibility of making that actually real. That come down to good looks and not good looks. One person can say your girl is wolf, one person your guy is hot. And if another person did not, then you are wrong, but you should not be concerned of what another person said. They're not putting food on your table. They're not paying your bills. They're not helping you with mortgage. They're not helping you with a house. They're not doing something unnecessary to your survival or you keep breathing. And if these people are doing it and they are being serious about it or they say too much where it, it offenses, you need to correct them. If they or in terms of being serious and you do know them then if you if everything in that fact are all you who you are and you don't believe that then you need to get rid of that person but if you know if in fact you are who you are and you do believe that person then you need to get rid of your partner or partners whoever you are out there not that difficult people easy to fix I am not gonna even talk about it this is 99% facts just and the rest just an opinion, which is why I'm not gonna leave docs on it. You know if your relationship is beneficial to you, beneficial to them. You know you can offer them what they want, and you know what can you can offer what you want. My opinion, I don't want to get in a relationship as I see the beneficial potential in it. Uh, if I don't have nothing to offer that person, if that person have nothing to offer me, and we don't both don't get a mutual relationship with an agreement or at our core of who we are, who say we agree on, then there's no need for that. I'm, I'm not going to get in a relationship just to have a volatile situation. If I did, never sensed it. Believe me when I say I have spider sensed it. That relationship would end right then and there. Just like any other relationship, period. When I say about it, I'm not going to make that person step on your toe or something like that. If that person did that, like I said, my standard, she will get suplex. Will she be able to handle a suplex? That's just me. If you are in a situation you were hurting, like I said earlier, then you should not be in that relationship. It's not that difficult, people. There's no room for you to complain when you are in that situation. Unless, in my other said in the earlier videos, unless you've been forced with your life is in danger or somewhere online, your life is in danger. And even in that situation, you should be making a, an attempt to fix that. Not more than just a attempt. You should be giving your 100%. The moment you stop there without any plan, you lost all concern of care for anyone. Now, if you are a friend of that person and you don't do anything or even make a word of it, you don't care about it. But so, like I said, my other ones, go for it.